Hey everybody, welcome to an unboxing. This is a first, kind of, for the channel. So, I got this over Christmas. It's the Sky Viper. It's a stunt drone, it's got a camera on the front. So, I will be opening that up for you guys today. So, using another gift I got for Christmas, I got a pack of three throwing knives. Now, the blades on the side are dull, it's only the point that's really sharpened, so I might have to sharpen those up a little bit. But, you know. So, let's see what we got here. So I'm guessing this is the right side up, so let's open this, if I can get it out of the package first. This will be a review and unboxing. Hold on. I just forgot I had that on. I had a mask on because it was cold outside. So let's see. Who do we have here? That's how we unbox it. So, what do we get in the package? We get a remote control here, and the drone, and then protectors, and a manual. So, take this out first and read the manual. And. Okay. So I will be right back after I read the instructions and get everything out of the box. Okay, so while unboxing this, I found that there's a second pack that has the controller parts and everything in it and the charging cord. So that's helpful. And then there's extra propellers in case you break these ones. Because they're probably just cheap plastic or something. So, sorry about that. Let me move the camera over a little bit there. So, here we have the battery, which comes out from there so that you can charge it. You can see there what kind of battery it is. Let's see if I can get that to focus. You can see it's a 3.7 volt, 650, uh, I forget what that is, um, whatever. It's a LiPo battery, that's really all you need to know. If you want a better review, I, ha I will link another person's review in the description, because he does a lot more in-depth reviews and stuff, and he's got better content. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, this is... Oh, this isn't the one with the camera on it. Oh, this is just the stunt drone. Oh, okay. Well, see, I'd, I'd planned on doing and recording stuff for this, but then now I'd... I didn't look at the box, it's not the camera one. I thought it was the one with the camera, there's... The the next one up has a camera right there. I guess this is just the stunt one. Which is kind of obvious by what it's called. Stunt drone. Not... You know. So... We've got the batteries that we need here. And... The controller. Now, one thing I will say about this controller is... I'm not a big fan of it. I don't really like the way that this is made. I have another drone. It's a little, like, it's a drone that's, like, about that big. And there is, the controller that, that one has, I like a lot better than these ones. Because it, it's a different brand as well. I will br I'll bring that down in a minute and show you what I mean by 
the kind of controller it has. So let's put this together. Um, I think I'll use these instead. So whenever you get this, you have to put in the joysticks, joystick parts. You can use it like this or like this. This is how I usually use it, but most people would cringe at that because that's not how these ones are supposed to use. You're supposed to use these ones, but these ones are too slick. Here, let's see if I can put these in. Show you the difference. So it there's a difference between both of these. Usually people fly like this, but I kind of go like this. It's got good response, I guess. But actually, I think I'll go with these ones. They aren't as slippery as I thought it, they, they would be. Usually this type is like real slippery. I mean they kind of are, but I put a lot of force down. I put force down on it so it's not going to slip. And in the back here, they give you a screwdriver so you don't have to hunt for one. Which is a good thing. It's always good whenever they include the tools that you need to get to it. Because most people that would be buying this would be from the... Like, they might not have tools or anything, so it's always helpful. So this takes three AAA batteries for the controller. And so I will go get those in a minute, but I will finish taking all this stuff out. And I'll get rid of this box here so that you guys can don't have to look through all this clutter. Not that the table I'm on isn't cluttered enough, but you know. So, so he, uh, grab that out and then throw that off to the side. Uh, set the scissors up there because we don't really need them. So here's the drone. Get all this packaging. So this I can't remember what that is for. I think that it's for. It's for the extra ones here, it's for the screws, because I think most of the time the screw comes loose or something, and it you'll need new screws, so they give you four extra screws and four extra propellers, so I'll keep those in a safe place so that I don't lose them, because I know I need them later, and so I will go get the battery, for, the batteries for those, and then I will check and see what the battery is for that right now. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, so while I was away looking for batteries, I found, I got the other drone that I was talking about. So here's the controller. Uh, let me first show you the drone. So whenever I said it was small, I wasn't exaggerating. It is very small. And you can see the comparison between the two. So. One of the reasons why I really liked this controller was that for the throttle, or for the, uh, the moving is this, and then how much the, how fast the propellers spin is this, which as you can see isn't like this one, it doesn't come back up, it stays where it is. So this is whenever there is no propeller movement and this is whenever there is so you can kinda have it hover so you can control that so you could like leave it there and then you could just use this to keep the elevation so that was the other drone that I said I had and another reason why I got it was to get the batteries out of, out of the controller because for some reason we have way too many double A's, but not enough triple A's. So I will get this controller batteried up and put the back on it the right way, instead of like this. Shit. Um, cut that out. So, screw this in. Because I don't really plan on using that little drone very much anyways. 
I don't fly it very much anymore. I did take it to school one day to mess with teachers, but that was about it. So, whenever you turn it on, now it's waiting to be paired with this. I'm not sure if it comes with battery in it, so we'll find out. Okay, so I want to do this so that I don't... So that I make sure that that isn't activated already. Okay, so it comes with battery. So, let me now look up. Let me get the manual over here. And, okay, it's synced. So, it automatically syncs to the drone. You don't have to do, like, any fancy movements, like with this. So, whenever you have to pair it with this one, you had to put down and then go like that to pair it. So, that's another thing. So... Whenever you charge the battery, you have to use this cord here, and you plug it into any outlet to charge it. So, let's see. Okay, we don't want to do that. land. Okay, so we'll probably go outside for this. I'll turn that off and then unplug this. And then I will meet you guys outside. Okay, before we go out, uh, I'm going to put these guards on. Um, so, let's see here, we got this. He kind of maneuver around the blades though. Then, I think you just push down on this to make it lock in. There we go. So, heard the snap of this right here snap into place. I just gotta get this last part on. So, oh man, this is really takes a lot of pressure to do this. There we go. Okay. So I will get these on and then show you what it looks like and then we'll go outside. Okay, so you might be thinking, it's winter. What are you doing outside flying drones? Well, to that I say, well, I got it for Christmas, so what am I going to do? So I've just turned on the controller and let me see. I'll put it up higher. So that you guys can see better. So I'll put it about there. You can see it take off, but it's not taking up too much. So So first thoughts are it flies a little wonky. You actually have to bring it down. Alright, so it crashed. See, I don't really, I think it might be the windiness, but it might also be me not knowing really how to fly this drone, and it's not a very good drone, anyways. But if it's a first drone, it's a pretty good drone. So I will go up there and get it and bring it back down. Okay, everybody, so we're back, and I came inside after that first flight because it's way too cold outside. So, I don't know if that was a really good idea to be flying in the snow and then crashing it in the snow because now there's snow inside everything. Oh well. Also, it seems like the lights aren't very well kept into the drone. You see that? It's already, you can see it peeling off peeling out doesn't really pop back into place so have to see about that yeah so it looks like these LED things there's they're not very well made they kinda 
just snap in there, but there's the thing that snaps it broke already. First flight. Drone's already broken. Way to go. Well, we'll just throw it off. It's not like it's important. So, my first thoughts are the controls are not the best. Compared to this, which is what some people, like drone enthusiasts, they say that this controller is bad. I think this controller is better for starters, and this one isn't, I don't think this one is good at all really, because I fly the, I fly drones a lot sometimes, but, okay, so, thoughts, I don't really like this controller. This controller to me doesn't really handle well. So whenever you're flying, you have to keep in mind this here. Whenever you first push it up, it it doesn't seem to stay level. It'll go up, and then once you stop, I think it stops at that altitude and it stays there. And there's also a problem with drifting. I think that. I don't know if there's so anything where you can fix that. I'll have to... I'll link another video in the description that has this better explained. So, it seems that this is forward, backwards, left, right, uh, drifting or something. To make sure that it's calibrated, but I don't know. Being completely honest here... I like this brand here better, so even though this is the smallest one, and most people say this is a really bad one, um, the size up from this one is the same size as this, and it's the same type. It's a stunt drone, and that drone is really good. I would really, I would recommend this brand over this brand because the controller is better on this one. It's more basic, so. With this one, it's really complex. So you see how many buttons there are on this one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Technically, counting this is two, and this is two because it's two different buttons on the inside. And with this one, it's nine. There's nine buttons on this one. While it is the small drone, and it is it isn't the same drone, it does control better. And with the type of drone. I've flown the the one the bigger one of these with the camera on the front and it is a dream to control. So it's it makes a lot of sense with this being a stick that stays down instead of being a stick like this. Like this one is for the for the throttle I guess you'd say. And the direction is fine. It makes sense. But, it does, this type of drone seems to like to drift a lot. Like, it drifts almost, the second you stop it just starts drifting. I think that was mainly because of the wind, but I can't be sure until it's not windy, which won't be for a while. And, it would have been better if I flown it in better conditions, but, what kid is going to wait for good conditions to fly? They're going to want to go out and right away just start flying it. Like, that's basically how I used to be with, like, the little, uh, what you call it, drones. Like, the little helicopters. You know what I'm talking about. And so, really, I wouldn't recommend it, but it, it's, it is on the cheap side, which is why I got it for Christmas, because it was from my aunt and uncle, which, you know, this is a pretty good gift for something like that. So, I wouldn't recommend it if you're wanting a good drone to fly, but if it's for a kid that's just starting out, I would recommend it. And, well, really, I would recommend the, the version with the camera. It's a lot better, it flies a little better, it 
it actually has a thing that you can mount your phone on and look and see the screen which is kinda what I thought this one was, was at first until I opened it up I didn't realize what kind of doing was I realized it as I was opening it was the step down so I would recommend this company if you want to be able to really if you're wanting to get into it if you're just wanting to kinda just mess around with one I would recommend this one because it's it's fairly cheap so that is the end of the video if you liked it like it share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already so I will see you guys in the next video if you would like for me to do any more of these tell me in the comments if there's any type of video that I don't do that you want me to do put it in the comments so that I can get to that and try and make better content so I will see you all in the next video Bye.